welcome this is the energy vibration um, a reading for the Sun moon and rising Sagittarians I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back it is the third week of July 2017 and with the energy in this week um, you guys have the energy of the hangman the energy of the hangman okay whatever the energy of the hangman you guys have the energy of the hangman so it's like um, you're trying um, to regain your energy okay so this is good okay let's look at this I want to say thank you to all the Sagittarians out there you have been supporting my channel for a very long time and I want to say um, thank you I'm so, I'm so grateful um, this is so positive um, I'm happy that everyone has been sharing the videos so um, the videos is reaching more people this is uh, really a positive time for not only myself but for all my subscribers all the viewers if this is your first time please subscribe and like these channels because the hurt is changing everything around us is changing we need to understand that there are so many weird things that is happening in 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 um, the hurt now and we need to understand it okay all right this is the week of justice this is the week of justice the zodiac energy vibration is water and uh, um, on the from Monday until Saturday it's water and then it's going to change to the zodiac energy vibration of fire okay so this is going to be good so it has off Sunday you're going to be feeling much better if you're not feeling good in the suite because you're in like a hangman position is as if you know there is not enough uh, um, energy is as if your energy is is drained okay so justice is the um, sign for the week and with this justice what is going to happen is that there is going to be a lot of clarity to a lot of things justice is bringing a lot of clarity to a lot of things which is so positive so wonderful so as we look at this week and we're trying to understand what exactly is taking place in this week you're going to realize how beautiful this is and how wonderful this is so you are going to be aware and have an understanding of how things are okay so as we look at this week we have the seven the seven of um, um, sword the seven of sword the seven of sword is somebody trying to steal something and this person who is trying to steal something it is um, an um, Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra so somebody is trying to steal something it's an Aquarius a Gemini or a Libra so be aware of this person because this person is not being honest and I want to see what exactly are they trying to get away with what exactly is this person trying to get away with what exactly this person is stealing and trying to get away with I want to see exactly what this person is stealing okay the energy of uh, um, this person is trying to steal something from a woman and what is the what is it um, Wow Wow oh <laughs> okay there is okay for, for people out there who are having relationships with or is there someone in their life who is an Aquarius a Libra or a, or um, a Gemini they are trying to steal you away or your okay if you're a woman there is someone that is trying to steal your partner away from you something is happening or if you're a man if you're a, yeah if you're a woman a, um, a, a Gemini and a, 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 a Gemini a Aquarius or a Libra is trying to take you away from a relationship that you're in so be aware of this if you are a man there is a Gemini a Libra or a, an Aquarius man that is trying to steal your partner away from you so be aware of that on Monday 
Okay, we're going forward and this is, yeah, you know, <laughs> what is happening now? Um, the Knight of Wands, so whoever the Knight of Wands is, um, the Knight of Wands, whoever the Knight of Wands is, there is going to be a heartbreak with the Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands could be yourself, so if you are a man between the ages of 18 and 23 there could be an art break let's see what the art break is all about let's see what the heart break is all about okay so if you are a man or a woman there is an art break that is coming up but it's not really with someone it is that a situation is not being um, very good Okay, it's like people are trying to block you. There are certain type of things people are trying to block you. There is a blockage. People are trying to block you in whatever way it is. People are trying to block you. So there's a there's a cloud standing up there. People are talking. People are trying to block you. Um, it's 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 not a very nice situation that is going on, but you will be victorious over it. Okay, um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of this going on, so it's not you're alone. Okay, in the middle of the week and crowned in your week, you have the three of pentacles, and the three of pentacles is extremely good. The three of pentacles is a wonderful energy because you're working together with some one or something or on someone or on someone or something and this is bringing you a positive positive endeavor because it's going to bring you a lot of money so whatever you're working on with someone else it's going to bring you a lot of money and uh, you know extremely lot of money so this is good so for the week what is crowning your week it is the three of pentacles so a lot of people this is all about making money this is all about uh, money in this week on thursday you have the energy of justice and you're having clarity to a situation on thursday you have the energy of justice and you're having clarity to a situation and let me see what is exactly that situation yes okay so whatever that was happening whatever that was happening there is clarity coming to a situation okay justice the sign of justice comes up you have overcome something you have been justified with something and there is it's as if um the the, the um if you had something in the legal system um you're going to be invited out and there is going to be a new part opening up for you and this is extremely wonderful so what's the weather that was happening um with the legal system if there was a situation in the legal system if you had something uh, of legality um it's going to come to an end and you're going to you know receive an invitation and that invitation is going to open up new parts and new doors to you which is going to be very very good so it's 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 a nice thing and a weird thing because uh, um there is so many things happening in this week because what is happening is that there with the justice and um clarity to a situation there is going to be an invitation and this invitation is going to open up new doors of opportunity and it can be family related um discussion and it can be choices between options uh, you know that sort of a thing so whatever the part is whatever the door is that uh, there's going to be new things that is opening up a new decision that is coming in your life so whatever if you were asking um for something that has to do with government system or that sort of a thing it's going to be a yes you're going to get an invitation and that is going to open up new doors of possibility for you Sagittarians as we look at Friday we have the ten of swords in reverse the ten of swords energy in reverse it's a very wonderful energy so whatever that was that people were lying about and that sort of a thing it has now come to an end whatever people were lying about and that sort of a thing it has now come to an end and uh, it was a karmatic situation okay so for the people who had had obstacles and people were blocking them let's see what was that it has come to an end now on Friday oh um, whatever the situation is it has come to an end now on Friday 
and uh, your luck is going to start coming in so whatever the situation is which is a profound wonderful whatever the situation um, was with the ten of swords that people were lying and that sort of a thing and uh, the mishaps and that sort of a thing and people were not being honest about certain things uh, it is coming to an end it is coming to an end and uh, what is going to happen is that the wheel of fortune is here which is a very 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 good um, um, thing with a wheel, the, the, the wheel of fortune and the wheel of fortune is bringing luck happiness happy family luck in finding accommodation and that sort of a thing so it's going to be extremely extremely good so whatever the situation was whatever that was going on there is going to be a positive positive the wheel of fortune is going to bring you a lot of luck so let's say you were looking for a new house a new apartment um, a new work and that sort of a thing um, it's going to happen because the wheel of fortune is going to bring you luck and, and it, it, it can be luck for some people in relationship that you're going to um, live together with people it can be um, good luck in jobs um, no reason to worry about certain things opportunities are going to come your way new opportunities positive outcome when acting quickly you know that sort of a thing investments money is going to come the shyness the nervousness that sort of a thing so positive positive things are going to be coming out on Friday so the wheel of fortune on Friday is going to bring you luck so if you are you were looking for um, a new house somewhere new to live uh, if you were um, going on vacation and that sort of a thing it's going to happen for you it's going to be extremely good okay so we're going forward and on a Saturday we have the three of swords in reverse so this is good so you have the number three is going to play a, a vital role in your life whatever is happening number three is going to play a very vital role in your life and with this number three playing a vital role in your life you're going to see a specific situations and um, the 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 three of swords in reverse and uh, there is someone who is uh, younger than you who is coming at you with whatever information let me see who is this person and why are they coming at you uh, the three is re in reverse because uh, wonderful um what is happening here is that there is going to be a new start uh, a new start uh, for a lot of people there is going to be a new start whatsoever is happening on saturday there is going to be a new start which is wonderful some people can expect pregnancy um, some people will find out that they're pregnant um, on Saturday and um, you know um, there's going to new change changes are coming in new start leads to something um, representative by um, good things okay so whatever is happening the end of lies and uh, this sort of a thing it's coming to an end okay let's see what we have for Sunday we have the energy of the magician on Sunday with a ten of swords in reverse so the energy of the magician on Sunday is a wonderful wonderful thing because the ending the week with a major oracle is a very very good thing because when you end the week with a major oracle this is saying to you that whoever you end the week with is going to open up new doors and possibility and you have the magician so the magician is that you have all four elements that you can use for yourself and make a, whatever you want to, to be a success in your life. So this is extremely wonderful. So let's see what the, is the magician going to do for you guys in this week. Oh my God, a magician is bringing a very good friend, a very good friend. A magician is bringing a very good friend in your life, but... um. And there is going to be is is like swift a, a very good friend is going to come in your life but very fast very fast it's as if you're going to meet someone and this person is going to just come in your life just like that whoop, 
so be aware because I, I hate when people do that to me you know <laughs> you know it's a personal card it's loyalty and the binding together with friends malevolent beam also you could be connecting with your spirit guides and that sort of a thing and this is extremely good so whatever is happening it is you know a very good and loyal friend but this a very good and loyal friend it could you know it could be Uh, a friend who is in need who comes in very quickly and asks for help or the end of a friendship with a good friend so you know it can it, it can there, there is a whole other thing that is uh, playing in this week for you because I, I use these cards to get vital information because your week was looking as if ooh, you know and uh, uh, but it's, it's, it's actually a good um, week in the sense that you're clearing up a lot of things. There's a lot of balances coming in. So the people who have a legal um, situation that is going to clear up, you're going to have an opening, a new part, a new door is going to open. As we look at the beginning of the week, especially as um, and, and the, the, the number three energies, number 33 is a very, very positive in the week uh, the tens and number 33 is very positive the wheel of fortune is here and you have got uh, wonderful um energies and good things that are coming in so with the energy of the wheel of fortune it's going to bring you luck people who are looking for homes uh, a place to live new work new business it's going to bring you that in it's going to be extremely positive it's going to be a, a positive positive uh, um, situation so on Friday you're going to have very good news because whatsoever is happening with work and that sort of a thing you're going to see how very good this is okay money is going to be coming in to you you're working what whoever has their own business and working on something money is going to come to you it is no um it is absolutely um no um no question whatever you're working on if you have your own business money is going to come into you it's going to be very very slow but it's it, it's it's definitely going to come into you when we look at love whoever you are whether you're a man or a woman, there is someone who is an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a, um, a Libran. And this person, whether it is a woman or a man, wants to take, because he, he is a man and he wants to take away your partner. Whoever he wants to take away your partner because there's also same sex relationships, so we always have to remember the same sex relationship. So, whoever is this person, this Aquarian, this Aquarian Leo or Sagittarius wants to take away your partner because I am seeing here a couple, and there is a third person, there is a man, and underneath that is the seven. So, it, this, this, this. The seven of pen, the seven of sword is when someone is trying to get away with something. So whoever this Aquarius, Libra, a Gemini person is, wants to take you away from your partner, whoever that person is. So he wants to get in between you two because obviously he's thinking that that is uh, there is a possibility for you too. So he is trying to make a little messy situation so he can get um, um, between you and your partner so you know be aware who is that be aware who is that because uh, uh, most of the time when these things happen um, um, most of the time when these things happen I'm having all my cards in the reverse for me I'm not sure when these things happen it is oh my god is someone who is taken okay I gotta get going because that was really um, open let's see what you guys have root chakra root chakra root chakra that comes up for somebody else so we need to work on our root chakra it is working out because all the stuff that needs to happen is happening so this is going to be extremely wonderful so whatever is happening with your root chakra you need to heal this PowerPoint because this PowerPoint needs you to bring you to something much different okay so this is working out and as we look forward we have melding melding so this is 
also wonderful because what this is doing it is actually um, helping to heal something so something was a ray and it's actually helping to heal something that was a ray because there's a melding so whatsoever the misapprehension was forgiveness making amends healing after argument so there is going to be a forgiveness um, and an amends and healing after argument each time we are hurt and allow the hurt to pass through us without an understanding and integrity and, uh, and integrity we accumulate an unwanted burden this keep us um, chained to the very things we need to heal the pain the memories the echo the challenges uh, of resentment and arguments that we um, reface over and over again now is the time for melding rifts healing wounds and letting go of the whole earth in order to reclaim your power now is the time to forgive and to release and to make peace and make an amends to others set yourself free and this is wonderful I always do that you know and I never go um, uh, to sleep without an argument and I want to say thank you for being here talk to you next week